Want to know how to calculate your fixed deposit returns? Then this is the video for you. If you are new to our channel, our channel posts about money tips and self-development tips every week. So if you have not subscribed to us, do hit the subscribe button down below. Hi, I'm Ivy. And I'm Yin. Fixed deposit is one of the most popular financial tools that people use to develop a passive income. So today we will be sharing with you how to calculate your FD returns and what are the things that you should take note of. So let's get started. Generally, the current FD rates are ranging between 1.5 to 3% and this may change from time to time. So do refer to your local banks for the latest rates. So once you have decided which bank's FD you want to invest in and you like to know how much is your return, this is how you can calculate it. For example, Bank A is giving a FD rate of 2.5% per year for a tenure of 12 months. So if you have just invested 10,000 ringgit, multiply with the 2.5%, you will have a return of 250 ringgit after the end of the 12 months. However, if the tenure is 3 months, your investment return will be 62 ringgit and 50 cents. By the way, if you have any questions in regards to this, feel free to drop your questions down in the comment box down below. Occasionally, some banks offer promo FD rates, which are higher than the interest rates that we mentioned just now. However, some of these do come with conditions. Here are a few examples of the conditions. Number one, be a premier customer. Some of the promo FD rates are only offered if you are a premier customer. To be a premier customer, you will need to open a premier account with usually a 300,000 savings with the bank. Number two, ratios. Banks often offer ratios as a part of their fixed deposit promotions. This is so that they can encourage more people to deposit more money into their bank. For example, Bank A is offering a FD promo of 4% for a tenure of 3 months. The condition is, the investment must be 1 to 1 ratio for FD to saving or current account. So if you have 10,000 ringgit to invest, you will have to split it to 5,000 in FD and 5,000 to saving and current account. Take note that they are only giving 4% in FD. The saving or current account could be less than 1%, but in this example, we will use 0.25%. Three months later, you will have a return of 53 ringgit and 13 cents. So technically, you are only getting a return of 2.12% instead of 4%. Number three, product purchase. Some banks also offer higher FD rates with the condition that you purchase a bank product, generally either a unit trust or insurance. For example, Bank A is offering a fixed deposit promotion of 6% for a tenure of six months with the condition that you invest a one-to-one -one ratio for FD to unit trust or insurance. So if you're investing 10,000 ringgit today, you will have to split this to 5,000 in FD and 5,000 in unit trust. Take note that only fixed deposit is guaranteed at 6%, but the unit trust return is not guaranteed. So you may suffer losses. If you do choose to take up this promo, make sure that you're aware of the risk that comes with it. If you'd like to know more about fixed deposit, you can check out our video right over here. If this has been educational for you, feel free to like our video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.